Hello, good morning. Hey, I'm at uh, Brian. Been out well since we've been out about three months. I'm at Glen Finnan to do the, the Glen Finnan horseshoe. Uh, the name of them and Rose, I'm not going to try and pronounce them, but I'll put them up here. So we've just parked the car here. Yeah. I'm going to be heading in that direction there, heading for the viaduct. Uh, early start this morning, Brian picked me up about half past four. It's just Back at seven, is that? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, we're ready to kick off. So, let's see how we go. So I just passed the body. Uh, track a wee bit more rougher than it was back where we started. Both is just in there, the trees. We're cheating. That's a good pull up for the body. Cut off the main path back down there a bit. Uh, too much gabbin, we missed it. So we got across country to pick up the route up to the first Monroe. That's the path there. So you break off the main path away right down there, we missed it by a good bit. It's actually, I'm sure it's actually got a wee sign telling you to, to break left, but as I say, we were gabbing and uh, we've missed it. So Brian's the way back down to come up the right way, I basically just, in fact there he's there, he's coming across country. That's us at the two hour mark, just over the two hours, just about 540 metre mark. The views are starting to open up now. If you look away back in the distance here, you can just see the viaduct in this area here. So the weather's held off so far, the clags at the summits and uh, some of them's clear, but it's just rolling in. That's us at the 870 metre mark, just following this 
laying a fence post. You see them there? Well in the clag. Definitely well in the clag. We're not going to hang about here too long, we've sat for about 10 minutes, it's not going to clear. So we'll just head down Langley Ridge and catch the second one. It's a plan anyway. Stopped after a wee bit of lunch. Yeah, <laughs> got the drones out and the clags, man. So, Danny just flying his in it. Oh, the clags well in. Just feeling a bit chilly. <laughs> That's my no number two there. Stunning views when when the clag clears. It's still all the big tops are still covered. I'm almost certain that's Loch Arcade. I fished there before a long time ago. It looks it looks like it. It's obviously I know it's up in this area, but it looks stunning. There's, I'm sure that's a wee bothy in there. If you pick it out just at the river. That's the first one roll back there. Clag free. Yeah, we're on the ascent to the second one. Stay up this way. Starting to get windy. It's probably blow the clag away. And the rain's off as well. So not too bad. Summit, my no number two of the day. <laughs> that is a welcome sight. Uh, we're at six hours twenty minutes, so about three hours between Monroe's. But we stopped and had lunch. Had the drones up for a bit and that and but good going. Thoroughly enjoyed it so far. It's just come up for half past three. Uh, weather's been actually not bad. But I'm lucky with the two two Monroe's in the clag when we got there but oops such is life. It's nice down here. The views are absolutely stunning. Before we got to the summit we could see sky and all that, but we got to the, obviously the clag could come in. Check that out. 
I wish I knew the names of them all, I don't. But it's absolutely stunning. Uh, just the idea of a wee shout out and a thank you to the guys at uh, Anderson Aromatics. Uh, once again, they sent me out another sample to try and do a review on. Fortunately enough, I've no needed it today. Uh, it is last year I got sent that, Beast to Be Gone. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it, it's like a sort of texture of Vaseline. But they've now sent me out this one in a spray form. Uh, I'll get a wee spray and try it. <sighs> Smells very like the the salve one. Uh, dead like citronella. Really strong. So as I say, I never really get a chance to use it today. Fortunately or unfortunate, is what I say. But I will do a review on it in a couple of weeks. Uh, me and Brian's going to be doing a well camp. Hopefully in a few weeks time. Uh, I'm not saying I want midges to be there. But <laughs> no doubt uh, they will be. And I'll, I'll be using this. So, Beast to Be Gone by Anderson Aromatic. Thank you very much Julie for sending me this. It's much appreciated. Thank you. Check that out. It's a long way down. Just to get an idea of our route today, we're based something up that ridge line up to the first Monroe. Came along the ridge here over the bumps up to the second Monroe, which is just here in the Clag. And basically, come down that, basically, along another ridge, hopefully, down to where the, the bikes are. But uh, it's been good, this has been one of my best hikes ever. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I would highly recommend it to end the coming day. It's a long day, uh, but it's... I, I wish you'd get the views at the summit, but unfortunately we never. But this lower down when you do get the views, it's, it's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful place, this. Aye, uh, I think it touches maybe about 15 mile in total and I think Lock Highlands has got it anything between 10 to 12 hours so see, me and Brian we gave it 10 hours uh, we started a wee bit, bit later than expected but I see the weather apart from the clag has been really kind to us a few wee spots of rain but Take that any day of the week. Midges basically non existent. There's been a good wee breeze all day. Uh, I, I see, it's absolutely fantastic. Plenty, plenty of places to wild camp. If you wanted to come up here and do a wild camp, wads of places. You'd be spoilt for choice if you wanted to do this or like a, a two day or whatever. It was part of our choice, but oh, yeah, I'm going to check this out. <laughs> it's a bit hazy. I don't know if the GoPro will pick it up too good. But check this out. How you doing, Bucker? Doing great. Good Top man. of the world, man. Good man. That is fantastic. That's amazing. That's amazing. You see the monument there? See that? Now that is a welcome sight. Two bikes. Eight hours, forty minutes to get back to the bikes. And I was going for a dip in there. I left it too late. I need to get back to the car park just at six. Want to fill my water bottle up here? Get a drink. Ah! 
Electricity. Whoa. That's if you look inside the body. I was hoping there's going to be a wee sneaky can of beer there sitting there. Not to be. Back on the main path. Let's go for it. Oh, it's fantastic. The road's dead smooth. The scenery is absolutely beautiful. I really can't recommend these two manos enough. This is done, back at the car, uh, all in, that was 9 hour, 10 minutes for 17 and a half mile. Absolutely beautiful place, stunning scenery and a great, a great walk, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I'd like to say a thank, big thank you to John for Cumbernauld if you watch this. Uh, we met John up at the, just before the first Monroe and he recognised me and Brian, it's the first person that's ever recognised as well by now, so you've made my day. Thank you very much, it's much appreciated. Uh, so I'm going to sign out here, I say we're at the car park, car park's absolutely mobbed. And if you've watched it this far, thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.